Little buttons. And buttons are, what, six months old now? Yeah. Staying on place. With, and of course, he's got his Gucci blanket, so that's the most important thing. That's probably more expensive than my duvet, but his wee Gucci blanket. Now, normally when people are in, would he stay on place or not? Obviously, with no. you, he does. Like, you do well with that. But when other people are in, he would, wouldn't stay on place. So remember the thing that I advise you to do with place when you, especially if somebody was coming in, you know, your mum or just friends or whatever, is use the leash. Don't not use the leash. Use it because it's going to make him be more successful. Because it gives you more, it gives him more information. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, remember this? Oh yeah, I know how to respond. To but if if he's like, oh, but somebody's in and I'm getting distracted, the leash, that extra little bit of leash pressure, in that distraction is really help helpful. <clears throat> As or else we end up can get frustrated and no, but bed, bed, here, sit, d -d -d. Mm -hmm. and then we end up repeating lots and lots, which which disempowers the words that we're using. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get up and walk. And I want to see if he stays on place. That's good. Nice. So this just shows, look at the size of that water bowl, for goodness sake. It's tiny. But this just shows the um, the amount of work and effort that you've put in. You've done really, really well. That's really, really good. So he really wants to come off. Okay, what should you do there? No. So pick up the leash and then put, tell him what you want him to do. Well done. And then say good. Yes. Well done. Adding in the clicker. Well done. Now ideally there, pick up the leash. Now before no. you pull the leash, tell him. So before you pull the leash, you tell him what you want him to do. So you would go, buttons, if your case is bed or whatever, you say buttons, tell him what you want him to do, then leash pressure. Okay. Because if you pull the leash first, you don't know if he really knows it. So you, if you say buttons bed and then he's on his way, then you go, oh. I'm using less leash pressure. But if you're pulling the leash first, you're not giving him the opportunity to know whether it's the right thing or not. Mm -hmm. Okay? So tell him what you want him to do. Put in bed. Now pull the leash and put him on. Mark it. Bed. Sit. Click, Two. click. Good. Drop the leash. Two. Well done. And that's a challenge because even initially, if you were doing that first, you would never get that far. Do you know what I mean? That's super far. How far? Yeah. You've obviously been practicing it, which is brilliant. Yeah. Because um, that's a big distance. That's that's really really I, good. No. And when you when you're practicing it, pick up the leash. Tell me what you want to do first. Bed. Okay. Ideally, you would do his name first. Okay. Buttons, bed. Because okay. what if what if uh, what if your mum's dog was here? What if Chanel was here? Oh, yeah. and you say what? Do you want to know the dog that you're talking to? Stay. Okay. And what did you miss out that time? Yeah, well done, the clicker, well done. It's lots to learn, lots to learn.